Welcome back to the channel boys and girls. Today's video is going to be uh, one that I get the feeling I'm going to get a little bit of slack for but you know what ultimately well I'm a YouTuber so I you know I don't mind uh, getting a little slack for stuff but that's just the way it is. Now before I even start this video I do want to point out that everything I say in here is my opinion and mine alone. My exhaust, I'm finding it more and more obnoxious. Now, I do have the Yoshimura Alpha and um, I do have the silencer in, but it means absolutely nothing to me right now. And I find that it gets to the point where, and the reason I'm filming in this area is it kind of drives the point across, right? You go into these residential areas and, you know, a lot of these people, they're, they just want to sleep in. It just happens to be a Sunday. And all these people want to do is sleep in, take it easy, nice and chill. And I guarantee you my bike is making more noise right now um, than they would like. And, okay, now I'm being douchey because just for a video I'm coming out here and I'm actually disturbing people. It's kind of going against what I'm trying to say. But I think you guys are getting the point. It's, it's uh, douchey, right? And it's a bad thing because ultimately all of us are out here trying to... Wow, I got lucky here trying to uh, ride our motorcycles and what is the purpose of the motorcycle to start with? Why do you have a motorcycle? It's not to be obnoxious, it's not to be douchey, it's uh, literally to be um, to go out and explore and have fun. So, you know, when you're talking about these loud obnoxious exhausts, including mine, I'm not saying anything about yours, whatever you may have, I'm talking about specifically mine. I find it to be absolutely uh, disrespectful. Now, this is beautiful. Now, uh, with that said, if you come across, you know, obviously a lot of the Harleys and a lot of the big uh, cruisers, yes, I know that they are much worse than what a lot of the guys on the sport bikes have, majority at least. So, I understand that, but I'm gonna go after all motorcyclists, regardless if they're, you know, whatever you, whatever you ride. If it makes enough uh, noise to disturb other people, that's kind of what I'm talking. What, what the? Wait, what? Is that a? Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, that's a mini cut in half and put into the ground. Okay, I, I don't know what to say. See, that just became like, I went from a serious vlog to finding a mini in a... All right, back to the story. I'm truly disturbed, okay? I'm disturbed, well, in many ways, because <laughs> I'm always disturbed. But I'm disrupting all these people right now. And if I do this, I'm disrupting them even more. And even worse, I love to chat with you guys. I like to make vlogs for you guys. And one of the things I'm finding is now I'm actually fighting over my own exhaust to uh, talk to you guys a lot of times. And, you know, I woke up this morning uh, with the idea that you can, I just want to go out and have a nice chill of a ride, you know. Just, just chill out, relax, take it easy and, you know just go for a ride relax you know that's what a bike's supposed to be at least for me and I get on my you know I go I go downstairs I pick up my bike oh my god she's loud so I pick up my bike and one of the, the first things I noticed as soon as I started up is it's obnoxious I mean that's no longer relaxing now it's obnoxious and it got me thinking you know like this has been a thing, and I know many of you guys are, are um, kind of going to bring up my Tesla because I'm used to my Tesla being so quiet and blah, blah, blah. Listen, yes, I am absolutely enjoying every freaking chance I get when I'm in that car because it's always quiet, it's always relaxing, and it's just fun. And, and it's the whole mentality of that, that chill mentality is always in effect. I've been used to that and I noticed last time I went out with Mrs. K, we did the, uh, you know, we did the duo vlog. I, uh, man, I, I felt like I'm constantly screaming over my exhaust even at, uh, you know, really, really low speeds. And th that's, it, it, it drove me a little bit nuts, you know, I just don't know, like, so why do we do this? Let, let's, let's just get to the point here. Why do we do this? Well, 
loud pipes save lives, right? I mean, that's that's been the thing for as far as I remember, at least uh, ever since I started writing. Loud pipes save lives. Okay, let's assume for one second that that's true. Um, I don't know how true it is. I know it does bring attention to the bike, I, and that's that's great because obviously you're a bike. You're technically playing this invisibility game. So having an exhaust that you know, yeah, having an exhaust that basically you're gonna hear. You know, people are gonna hear you coming. Uh, compared to like, let's say for example, um, a, a zero. For example, I, I did the review on the zero, and you know that thing was so whisper quiet. I literally heard nothing but uh, a little hissing sound coming from the bike, which is basically the electric motors and the road noise. And uh, frankly, there was more noise that my helmet picked up, just wind noise, than there was coming from the bike. And so yes, I, I, you know, I do feel like there is uh, something to be said about noise and um, you know safety. Why are you stopping? This guy just stopped. Oh, now you okay? Good job. Thank you. You dumbass. So he's doing a U-turn, mother. Anyway, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm going to be chill. I'm going to take a turn here. Look, I'm signaling, see, in time. So, basically, 30k an hour zone. So, basically, what it came, comes down to is I'm, I'm riding a, you know, a quiet motorcycle. And it was a blast, guys, I'll tell you. It was so, so much fun riding that, that uh, quiet bike. It was actually an adventure. It was quiet. I was able to kind of sneak into all these little places. Nobody even knew I was there. And, yes, I know that... Uh, you know that's kind of try that's actually proving the point for many, what many of you guys are trying to say when you know when you're saying that you know you you're nobody's gonna know you're there right I don't believe necessarily in that I think if you ride like a normal human being you actually do the speed limit or whatever go with the flow of traffic if you ride like a normal human being and you're not a freaking douchebag you know going to uh, uh, double the speed limit down the freaking highway I think you're not going to have issues, and I've proven that so far. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I've proven that countless times. How? I'm still here, boys and girls, and it wasn't my exhaust that got me here. It was the fact that I don't do stupid stuff. I don't go and pull off wheelies in the freaking highways. I don't do, uh, you know, double the speed limit on highways. And I'm not saying I haven't, okay? But every time I have, I felt like crap because, frankly, I knew exactly what I was doing. And this is the problem. I think this is the problem for each and every one of the, the people out here with motorcycles. We know we don't need these loud exhausts. But then again, we can't stand those big, ugly exhausts, right? I mean, there's a purpose for them, okay? There's, the, there's a lot of R&D put into getting those big, loud, obnoxious-looking exhausts. But they, there is a purpose for it. And ultimately, for me, I, I look at this, like, look at the neighborhood. It's quiet. It's relaxed here. People just want to take their dogs for a walk. I come through here because I like exploring. Bam. Instantly, they, uh, they're going to be woken up because, well, I want to take my uh, obnoxious exhausts because, because, which gets me to my next point. Why do we get these uh, obnoxious exhausts? I've talked to a number of uh, you recently, and I know you guys are subscribers, that's why I say a number of you. And I, I asked you, you know, like, you know, what got you to get that uh, Yoshimura or uh, that uh, Two Brothers exhaust on there? And, uh, you know, before they have a chance to answer, I kind of went into that whole, well, obviously has, you know, has something to do with the fact that, you know, loud pipes save lives. And it's funny how many of you guys don't believe this, but yet you still have this crazy, loud, obnoxious exhaust. So I go, well, then why then? He goes, well, you know, people make comments on my, uh, on my standard exhaust. So now all of a sudden, I did not even know this, there's this like little peer pressure thing going on. So if you have a motorcycle with... Uh, you know, your, your stock exhaust, apparently, that's a bad thing. I, I mean, I didn't get that initially, but then again, I, on all my bikes, I pretty much got an exhaust put on before any of you guys saw it. Okay, so, 
is there such thing as peer pressure in a motorcycle community? Of course there is. And if you say otherwise, then you know what, you're just a bonehead. You and I both know, all of us know, there is a little bit of peer pressure when it comes to uh, the motorcycle community. And the peer pressure comes from, ooh, okay, that looks dirty and he says no exit. I still want to go down there. Oh, no, I can't. It's really bad. Um, so, oh, man, that's a cool looking brick house. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, there is peer pressure and there's no way in the world that, you know, anybody can say otherwise. If you ride, you know there is peer pressure and that's just the way it is. Uh, and don't don't lie to yourself. Don't, don't say that there isn't. So, uh, sorry, I'm just circling here because I'm looking at the house. <laughs> And uh, so ultimately now the question comes, if there's peer pressure, what can, you know, what are we doing? The motorcycle community is supposed to be there to support one another. Look, I don't ride with a number of people, not because I don't like them, but because I don't necessarily like their style of riding. I don't agree with their style of riding. And that's fine. You know what? It's, it, that's my right to walk away from them. It's my right to just say, you know what? You guys do your thing. I don't have to be part of it. I still respect them. I still love all these guys. You know, they're, they're great people. I, each and every single one of them. But at the same time, I don't have to be there. And if, you, if you're out there riding, and, and I really, really hope that you take, a, a, you, you take what I'm saying with a little bit of a grain of salt here. Look, I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do or what not to do. I'm not. I am simply giving you guys my opinion, hence what I just said in the beginning of the video. That's really all I'm doing. I'm just giving you my opinion and, and the things that I have seen over the last three years um, of writing. And it's different for everyone. Everybody has different experiences. Everybody has different things that, you know, what they do. Now, if you're the kind of person that likes to hit the highway and just fly down the highway because that's your thing, great. You know what? Go ahead. Do it. Uh, don't, don't expect me to cry for you if something happens. Now, I will cry for you if some idiot cuts you off while you were not doing double the speed limit. Because if you were doing double the speed limit, somebody cuts you off and you wipe out, you know what? It's very hard for me to feel bad for you because you're technically the cause of the problem, you know? Going back to exhausts. Ultimately, I think you look at the areas that you guys ride in and you look at your neighbors and you take into consideration everybody that's around you because our exhausts are obnoxious just think of what happens when uh, you're trying to watch a movie and you know you hear this big dodge truck yeah dodge go by and they're freaking obnoxious engines because i think dodge has one of the worst freaking sounding engines ever but i'm probably I just installed it one or two at least one or two of you guys but um Nevertheless, you know, it does come down to that. It comes down to, you know, how many times have you guys been annoyed um, or you're trying to have a conversation and some bonehead goes there with his car and loud, obnoxious, you know what, let's be honest here, let's, let's not even, let's just cut to the chase. You and I both know, all of us know here that the worst people at this are ricers, right? You look at these ricers with their cars and it's, uh, um, it's just bad. <laughs> right so yeah i mean i the motorcycle community does not need to be given a bad name it really doesn't it there's no need for it there's no um there's just no reason to do it and so let's not give the motorcycle community a bad name by being obnoxious by you know annoying the heck out of everybody we don't need to do that we have no reason to do that we can still be respectful, we can still enjoy the bikes that in, in so, so many ways. I understand there are, look, I mean, if, if you're, you have an off-road bike and you guys are going and doing all your off-road fun stuff, those things, look, it, the bikes are purpose-built. I mean, having a ridiculously powerful bike in the first place when you live in the city, it doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> There's really no uh, genuinely good reason for it. and. You can't use it. You cannot use a very powerful bike in any way, shape, or form in the city without breaking multiple laws. And I mean that, multiple. I'm not saying you're gonna break speeding laws. I'm saying you're gonna break multiple laws. Uh, hey, where is this go? I never actually went here. Let's do this. So if you're gonna break multiple laws, then, well, why, why do it? Why, you know? 
and do you really need that crazy powerful bike look the manufacturers will build it it's, it's that good old saying if you build it they will come well yes you know in reality that's exactly what's happening the manufacturers are happy to build these crazy crazy bikes because they know that there's gonna be somebody that's gonna buy them and as long as people are buying them they have no reason not to build them right <laughs> that's just the way it is the aftermarket accessory guys are gonna build uh, you know give you the option for the aftermarket accessories because they're making money but you're the one annoying everybody you're the one that's making the choice to do it or you know to put it on your, on your bike or not I think it's the important part here I think if you guys are gonna take anything away from this uh, video uh, man be considerate of others really I mean it's it's not a hard thing to do it just have to be you know have to take into consideration other people uh, that, that are around you and I am I know this does not apply to everybody it does not apply to every single situation please don't misunderstand me I I, I personally hate being woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning because there's a Harley that flies by but I also hate going out on the balcony having a cup of tea and you know uh, tea <laughs> I said tea I never drink tea having a cup of coffee and next thing I know there's a uh, you know a sport bike just flies up the hill at ridiculous speeds that you know it shouldn't even it, it, I, I, I mean common sense tells you do not do that um, it's a 50k zone and these guys are flying up the hill like at a hundred plus easy and you know, we're talking blind corners we're talking you know places where you really shouldn't do it and I see this a lot guys and and we've all done it I'm not saying that I am innocent in any of this guys I am just as guilty as everyone else I've done some stupid things on my bike I've done a lot uh, less <laughs> mainly because well um, I care uh, about myself about my bike I don't want to scratch my bike I don't want to pull you know lay down my bike but I care so, and that's why I take care of myself and I try and take care of uh, basically everything around me but it's not to say I haven't done stupid things I have done enough stupid things and I'm sure if you guys look at my videos and those of you who watch my videos you guys can point out just a, a ridiculous ridiculous number of things that I have done you know just to uh, uh, that are just not smart so I talked enough leave me your comments I know you guys are gonna leave me comments on this and that's fine you know what I expect a little bit of a backlash on this that's fine but ultimately the question still comes is there really a use for these uh, ridiculously obnoxious exhaust there really isn't there, there's no actual reasoning unless you're out on a, on a uh, racetrack you know and your exhaust helps you get that little extra bit of performance I completely don't see a reason but if you are on a racetrack, good on you. If you build a uh, race uh, purpose bike, good on you. That's that's where you should be doing um, all the dumb things we're gonna do anyway. Not on the city streets. We can complain about cars all we want. Literally, we can. Motorcyclists are the best, like absolute best at complaining about. Oh, that cager. Oh, that car. Oh, this guy. Yeah, you're not any better. Okay, you're not. Trust me, you're not. Uh, and let's be very very honest here we do a lot of stupid things and then we basically put it off the excuse that well you know I had to get away from that guy come on you do it because you wanted to do it just like I'm gonna do did I push my horn I did just because I do all the stupid things that I want to do but the difference is I take ownership of what I do okay I do dumb things and I say yes I did the dumb things and I did it not because I wanted to you know get away from somebody but because well I wanted to be stupid because it's just sometimes it's fun to be stupid uh, of course I'm, 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 I'm not as uh, reckless as many people but I don't want to be I want my stupidity level to stay low <laughs> anyway um, thank you very much in advance for the backlash I absolutely appreciate it you guys are um, very good at it I can almost see uh, you know all the comments in there and uh, I hope again I'm not here to offend anybody uh, I love the motorcycle community I love all of you guys you know um, I, ju I just I'm sick and tired of seeing bikes going down I'm sick and tired of the community getting a bad name 
um, and I'm sick and tired of seeing you guys you know I, I'm just driving around on, on the highway you know 20k over the limit and some douchebag flies by on uh, you know doing lane splitting in a he, we're not even allowed to do lane splitting here for God's sakes and this guy's flying by at least double the speed limit you know it, I just, I have no, I, normal, normally you would expect me to go, ooh, cool, no, I go, ooh, dumbass, right? So, really, that's what it comes down to. Take care of yourselves, boys and girls. Seriously, go out and enjoy the motorcycles for the wonderful, wonderful things that these things do for you. The way it makes you feel, the way they make you, uh, you know, just come to life when you're on these bikes. And be you know try and be a little bit more um, courteous with regards to your uh, neighbors and everybody who's not riding a motorcycle and trying to sleep if uh, you guys agree with me great if not great I know like I said I appreciate your uh, hate comments right off the bat you guys are the best and uh, I'll catch you on the next video till then goodbye have fun ride safe